Hello guys, welcome back to this video. It's been a long time since I posted something, um, but I have been busy. Um, this video is about a simple website that I created for everyone to monitor uh, how it's going with the Raspberry Pi storage um, nodes. This is because I kind of want some transparency in the story economics and so, and I thought it would be a great thing to build a simple website around this. Um, the website is public, uh, but the source code is of course mine and it's gonna be kept that way. Um, but for anyone wanting to keep an eye on this, the website should always be up and available to you guys to enter. Let's dive straight into it and have a look at the website. All right, so going into the website right here, you are met with a very simple nav bar. I am planning on updating this later on, but if you press into the storage node or Pi story node uh, tab, you will get into all juicy information. Um, keep in mind that the website is work in progress and updates may occur. So. I would like to say that um, this is where I monitor some key metrics of and financial performance of my nodes. And if you're interested in decentralized storage, uh, running your own nodes, or just curious about how uh, the economics of storage work, then I believe you're in the right place. Uh, I'm going to attempt to guide you through each section of my dashboard uh, website, uh, explaining you, you the stats and how they all tie together to give like a clear picture of how profitable and efficient uh, these story nodes are and have been. So I say, uh, let's dive straight into it. All right, so as you can see here in the dashboard, um, let's start with the Stoi nodes stats. This is where I track the core performance of the nodes. Uh, we can begin with the egress bandwidth right here. Um, this is, uh, egress refers to the data that is being sent from the nodes to the network. So um, in the node perspective, that is uploading data. Um, while ingress refers to the data coming into the nodes from the network. So that is uh, the nodes downloading, basically. Um, these numbers give us a direct understanding on the data traffic flowing through the nodes, which is essential uh, for calculating payouts um, since egress traffic is actually compensated. Just below that, we can see the estimation um, where uh, we have estimated payout today and estimated payout total. These are projections of how much I'm expected to earn both for today and for the total month that we are in. Um, it is important to note that these are just estimates and they constantly uh, change and actual payouts can fluctuate. Um, the estimated payout total is a little bit misleading because that is looking at how much I've earned so far this month. So if you can see, um, I wrote estimated and maybe I should change that in the future, but this is expected to be going up. Uh, today is the 10th of September recording. So that means um, in the last 10 days, the node has made an estimated profit of $8.25. All right, let's go to the next section. So here in the next section, we have uh, nodes online and total nodes count. Um, this shows how many of my nodes are active and online uh, and running multiple nodes can help uh, distribute uh, the data that's coming in. Um, and perhaps also increase your overall earnings. Uh, keep in mind power usage, of course. Um, now, uh, we also have the storage stats that you can see here uh, with the pie chart. Pie chart. <clears throat> this pie chart below is a simple but effective way to visualize how much data uh, my storage is uh, using. Um, it's great to have available, so I can see it grow and it's nice to have a visualization. As you can see, I currently have 12.32 uh, uh, terabytes out of uh, 63 ter terabytes available across all my nodes. Um, and the more storage I offer to the network, the more data I can host, which basically has a saying in how much I can potentially earn. Now you can see that I um, have made a calculation that I am gonna need uh, 14.08 terabytes of stored data to cover the uh, power cost. Um, a key part of running a storage uh, node is making sure that your costs are covered. Uh, this is especially because power costs can be expensive. And as calculated to break even on my node, um, $21 uh, is about what I use on power for the Pi node per month. Um, this means that the, the, the storage nodes needs to store around the 14 terabytes. And this is calculated based on how much storage pays per terabyte stored. It's important for anyone considering running a node in the future to 
basically just be mindful of the ongoing operational costs like electricity. Um, now, I have been running these nodes for 68 days. Um, and I also keep track of the payout percentages based on node age. Right now, 75% of my earnings are being held back because my nodes are still new, which is standard for nodes under three months old. After this period, the held back percentages will decrease, allowing me to keep more of my earnings. So uh, if we go over to the Stoi uh, wallet stats, um, here I monitor the total amount of Stoi tokens that I've received on these nodes. As you can see, I've made around 72 uh, storage tokens. Um, and below that is the wallet address that I'm using. You can always look it up if you want and you're interested. Um, basically, yes. Um, another important stat to keep an eye on is the current storage to USD rate, uh, simply because at some point you might want to exchange your storage tokens to US dollars or any other um, uh, fiat coin. Um, this tells me the current exchange rate for converting storage tokens into the US dollars. And based on that rate, my wallet, wallet value is currently 25.72 US dollars. For anyone looking to maximize the earnings, it's crucial to consider when to uh, change uh, to fiat um, because there might be bad times to change. And you should not speculate into this coin because it is a utility token. But you should consider that there's fees uh, regarding uh, exchanging to fiat. So keep that in mind. Uh, currently, I have not exchanged any of this. This is how much I have made uh, from the Pi storage node so far. And that leads us to the financial overview here. Um, let's take a look at that. So this is a place that gives me an overall snapshot of the financial health of my nodes. Here I can track my monthly power cost, which as I mentioned earlier, is 21.12 US dollars. Unfortunately, at the moment, my nodes are not earning enough to cover the power cost. So this section right here is red and says not covered. This is based on how much the node has earned this month. And because the node has earned $8 this month, and I need $21, I currently have not covered the power cost. But I expect this to uh, get better as the month goes on, basically. In the break even section, uh, as you can see here, um, we can see that I've only made a 3.66 progress towards covering my total equipment cost, which comes to $928. That's how much it cost me to build this server. Um, I've itemized the cost here for transparency uh, from my Raspberry Pi setup uh, to the disks and power supplies. This all adds up. In the long run, it's about slowly recovering these costs through some consistent node operation. Now, keep in mind that I've been doing this for a hobby and I'm not doing it with the intent of getting rich. I think it's a lot of fun to manage storage nodes and I've learned so much from it and I continue to want to do it. My goal is definitely for the equipment and the power to be paid in full. And I do believe that at some point this will turn and get better. And that's why I made this website. That's so you can monitor it as well and keep an eye on it. Um, one of the most crucial stats is the total return on investment, ROI. Uh, this is where I track my total earnings after power costs, uh, if they're positive or negative. Currently, I'm actually at a loss of 13.9 USD. Uh, but I believe as the months progress and the held back percentages degrees, decrease, I do expect this to basically improve. That pretty much wraps up um, my website. Now, I have linked some videos down here of the initial build of the 12th one, terabyte one, that was then upgraded to the 72 terabyte um, server that we're looking at right now. The 72 terabyte did come out to 63 uh, Stoy usable terabytes. As you can see, there's a lot to consider when running, running some Stoy nodes, uh, from bandwidth and storage use to the power costs and the wallet tracking. I believe it's essential to stay on top of these metrics to ensure that your node uh, do remain profitable over time. And if you're thinking about getting into decentralized storage or running your own nodes, I hope this video gave you some useful overview of what to expect. If you liked it, uh, please don't forget to give it a like or subscribe and do comment if you have any questions or you want to see more updates. Now, regarding updates, I am planning on updating both the uh, website here. I already have some additions I want to add to it or some changes. And I also am looking to perhaps make uh, further videos on the uh, Raspberry Pi storage node. Thank you guys so much for watching.